Washington, D.C. is very famous for their circles. <laughs> no double entendre, man. Triple entendre. Well, as it turned out, when we lived there, it was kind of a kind of janky, you know. It wasn't it wasn't really all that uh, that hot posh. But right now, if you go there, I can't even afford to go there. I couldn't even drive my car from here. But when we lived there, it was home for the pimps, the hustlers, and our favorites, the winos. In our block, there used to be an average of at any time about eight liquor stores within a three block radius. And they all got used. Trust me. So we used to just sit outside our house and just watch people bust on into the liquor store, come out with their bottle of wild Irish rolls, twister. Y'all don't know about these dudes. <laughs> well, let me tell you, it's just one step up from Sturdo. They would get to a certain point. In the circle, I did tell you it was a circle, right? And they would just get confused. They would just throw their hands up in the air because if you've ever been a little bit twisted, you know that circles, ah, not your friends. So they would get confused and they would sit down and they would kind of tell us some, some stories about their lives. of some of those stories. I'm going to tell you a few. First one goes like this. So that black boy over there running scared. Yeah, 